Some 28 miles southwest of Land's End, Cornwall, lie an archipelago of small British islands. Nestled among hundreds of rocks and islets are five inhabited islands, each with its own character. Abundant wildlife shares crystal clear water with spectacular white sand beaches and dramatic rugged coastline. These are the Isles of Scilly. Early each morning in southern Cornwall, the Isles of Scilly Steamship Company prepares for the day. The Salonian 3 sits in the peaceful surroundings of Penzance Dock and within a few hours will be underway on its daily 2 hour 40 minute journey. Similarly, the crew of St Just Airfield based Skybus are preparing the aircraft for the day ahead. Since 1920, the Isles of Scilly Steamship Company has provided transport to the islands. Eight seat islanders and 19 seat twin otters carry passengers by air from Land's End, Newquay, Exeter, Bristol, Southampton and with connections from most major airports, transport is well connected. Lasting between 15 and 90 minutes, depending on airport, and with check-in times an hour or less, it's a far cry from long-haul international flights. The Salonian 3 travels from mid-March to mid-October and carries foot passengers only. With so few roads, there is no need for your car. Weather is usually very good, but due to the island's Atlantic location and small airfield, delays can occur in inclement weather. We advise taking out holiday insurance to protect your interests. Arriving on St Mary's, you're never far from anywhere. Only two and a half by one and three quarter miles across, the islands are small point to point, but offer miles of coastal and nature reserve walking. Walking is gentle, but for those in need, taxis and minibuses are available and make access easy. Hewtown is the central hub of the islands, with shops, restaurants, cafes and pubs, together with most things you would expect to find in a small town or village. All can be reached on foot, horseback, bicycle or taxi, and tour buses leave regularly on circular routes. Nature trails and tracks can last as long as you wish to spend, and are a good way to explore. Sports such as sailing, windsurfing or golf provide relaxing or physical adventure and scuba diving opens up a new world of wildlife such as seals, dolphins and basking sharks. Alternatively, exploring one of the thousand wrecks can be like stepping back in time. While rainy, the museum or brewery make a fascinating visit, and the galleries and craft centres offer a demonstration of the island's inspiration to local creative talent. Trips to the off-islands are extremely popular. Taking only a few minutes, boats leave and return three or four times a day to visit inhabited and uninhabited islands, view seals and seabirds or archaeology, and the supper boat cycles between islands giving time for a walk and a meal in one of the popular pubs whilst watching the sunset. Attractions include the world famous Tresco Abbey Gardens, where the temperate climate of the islands allows plants and flowers from all over the world to thrive. Spectacular views, ancient castles, historic garrisons and historic lighthouses are just some of the sights, along with rocky pillars emerging from gorse downs and tranquil coves washed by calm or pounding seas. 
Good food with many local ingredients can be savoured in many establishments, with seafood a big theme, for obvious reasons. Frequent live music or theatrical productions are held throughout the summer and can be a good finish to your evening. The islands harbour an intense local sport which stems from the 1700s when pilot gigs were rowed out to guide visiting boats through hazardous areas and to rescue sailors and cargo from sinking ships. Today, over 13 gigs on the islands raced against each other, most Wednesday and Friday evenings. The International World Championships are held annually in May. This can be an intense and busy time with over 100 gigs from all over the world. The islands are one of the few places in the UK where children are totally safe. Main roads and heavy traffic do not exist are with some of the cleanest beaches and waters in Europe, and helpful, friendly locals never far away. Parents can relax in the knowledge their children can play safe. All this in a small group of islands, only a short distance from Penzance, but far enough away to make your stay totally unique.